With just hours remaining before it would have been in violation of the law, the Pike Fiscal Court approved its $36.8 million operating budget for next year. Tonight's meeting was held on the last day of the fiscal year, and clearly the pressure was on the court to approve the budget. Judge, that is on an emergency basis, the first and second reading of the budget ordinance. I uh, would uh, ask, uh, you need to get a motion, a second, and a majority vote. I need a motion. Or I'll make the motion. I need a second. Take it. Although the budget was before the court for consideration when the magistrates arrived at the meeting, several issues affecting the budget were discussed, including health insurance for county employees and the Elk Run golf course at Johns Creek. The court voted to approve entering into an agreement with a private entity to operate the golf course, much to the chagrin of Magistrate Hillman Dotson. The agreement leaves the court with about a $75,000 commitment to maintain the course based upon previous discussions. Dotson voiced his displeasure with the measure. We need to look at what we we're doing to our people. You know, we're laying them off and we're playing golf. Dotson spoke out on a number of budgetary issues during the meeting. He was joined in being vocal by Magistrate Bobby Varney, who suggested the magistrates should take a cut in pay down to a $35,000 per year annual salary. Varney received no support on the motion and was chastised by Magistrate Vernon Chick Johnson for the suggestion. Varney also apologized for his role in the delay in voting on the budget. Johnson also blasted Varney for those comments. I want to apologize to the people of Pike County for me doing that. Uh, I'm much to blame as anybody. You had a right. You've been sitting through your all of it. You could have, you could have voted in. You could and, voted up in. Don't, don't I, take care of yourself and blame it on us. I, again, I, I didn't interrupt you, Chick. Well, I didn't interrupt you when you said that. Once the county's budget, which included nearly 20 layoffs and continuing the closure of the county's pools, was approved, County Treasurer John DeBuilder sent the budget documents to Frankfurt, making the budget official. Reporting in Pikeville for EKB News, I'm Chris Anderson.